Today we're going to talk about one of the most exciting subjects in Prince Edward Island real estate, property taxes. We're going to cover four different things, increases, reductions, reassessments, and local residential resident tax rebates. So number one, it's really important to keep an eye on your tax assessment value. Your tax assessment value is typically less than actual market value. Market value being deemed what someone would pay for that actual property. Historically, I found the assessments in residential homes was about 18% below market, but now it's all willy-nilly all over the place ever since values have gone up by as much as 58% or more in homes in PEI since 2016 Q2. So number two is when you receive your tax bill, I want you to look for a couple different things. Number one is the assessment value. Make sure it's realistic. If it's not, get that property appraised or get an agent and or multiple brokers to do a CMA, a comprehensive market analysis on that property to determine what market value might be today. Secondly, make sure you're getting your resident tax rebate if you're a resident in Prince Edward Island. It adds up to about a third off on your tax bill, so this could be big bucks. Finally, reassessment. So what happens if you buy a house for $300,000, which is market value, and the assessment is 97.5? Guess whose hand's gonna be out after closing? The provincial government, because they'll see that that property was illegitimately assessed chances are your property taxes are going up. If you have any more questions about property taxes in PEI, be sure to call the tax department or email them. Have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Press the little bell symbol. Give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below.